What's up, world? It's your boy Taz Beats. You are now listening to Taz Beats. Um, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna walk through a beat that I made a couple weeks ago. Um, but it's getting a lot, a lot of hits on uh, my website, and um, a lot of people are commenting, uh, giving me shout, you know, commenting or messaging me on Facebook or Instagram saying, "Yo, Evergreen beat is dope. It's a good storytelling type beat, laid back, real chill beat." Um, so I decided that I'll just show you all how I make that song, how I make that beat. So you know, it it, it was very simple. You know, it was a simple song that I heard. I was browsing through YouTube and I heard the song and I was like, all right, cool. I got to sample it. All right. So I'm going to let you hear a little bit of the song um, and then I'll, sh you know, show you how I made the beat. So this is the original song that I sampled. All right. That's all you get, all right? Um, can't give you all my secrets, all right? But um, I found a portion of that song that I really enjoy and I really like, and I, uh, I, you know, got the song, uh, pretty much did a drag and drop type thing uh, into Machine, um, and then I sliced it up into 16 slices. Um, I changed the polyphony, changed the chill group so that they'll cut each other off. And then I changed the pitch of it so that it'll sound the way that I wanted it to sound to match what type of beat I wanted to make. Uh, if it's going to be 85 beats per minute, it's going to be a laid back type beat. All right. Um, so the 16 slices that I chopped up for the first portion of the sample that I grabbed was this. That's what I grabbed first, and that's what I enjoyed. All right, so I came up with a pattern that I like, and this is how that sounds. This is gonna be a really quick video. I just want to show you all how I made this beat. Um, after that, I did a, um, I added some drums. You know, basic boom bap feel because I wanted to be. A laid back storytelling, real hip hop, boom bap, you know, something that I can send to an artist that is a, is a, a lyricist that can say something about, you know, that can speak about his life or speak about her life in a sense. All right. So I came up with some basic drums and this is how they sound um, by himself. So the drums and the uh, the first portion of the sample for the hook sounds like this together. Yeah. So the next thing I did was um, I took the, that first pattern of the sample that I chopped up and I duplicated that into another group. And what I did was next is I added the low pass filters to it because I wanted some bottom there and I wanted that to sound good. Um, I wanted to give it that low, you know, that low bass or that low pass feel to it. So um, that and my bass line with that together sounds like this. how that sounds all right so I kind of tightened up everything and I was like all right cool after mixing it down just a mix of that just the hook I was like all right cool um a pre mix um was uh this is how it sounds everything together like with just with that for the chorus of the hook whatever you want to call it To the drawing board and what I did was next is I um I grabbed a portion of the uh another portion of the sample that I really like and um I kind of you know this is the chops I, I chopped it up into 16 slices same way 
And uh, this is the portion of the sample that I, I took. And this is what I changed the polyphony intro group, changed the pitch. And this is how that's, that's those chops sound. So the pattern I came out with was this. I didn't mention I'm using machine 2.0 and I'm using the machine soft I mean hardware the machine mk2 uh, hardware all right so that's what I'm using for to make my beats and that's what I use um, next I did I took that and I added some some bottom to it I added a bass to it and I changed the bass a little bit into like a chromatic type feel and all everything together for the first portion of the sample of the first portion of the verse sounds like this second part of the verse, um, change it up a little bit, and this is how that sounds. I got the, the bass line that I created, um, just a regular bass, because the low pass filter on the sample um, had a lot of bass to it, and I didn't have to like, double it up because it sounds pretty good the way that it did. So these are the first and the second portion of the verse together, and this is how that sounds. give you everything right now but check out the snippet at the very end it's gonna be pretty dope you know also check out my website tazbeats.com instagram taz underscore beats underscore music twitter tazbeats1 you know check out the snippet right now